Agritech, Nigeria's leading and technological driven livestock company, blazing the trail in both investment and quality control. We continue with our feature and uh, focus on uh, what is to come, especially with the new investment going on in Fiditi. He is probably the most experienced solar energy businessman in Nigeria, Chief Vincent Ajede, Chairman Chief Executive Solar Energy and Power Transformer Nigeria Limited, speaks on the challenges facing the energy sector in Nigeria on our focus segment. This is Inside Business Africa, Africa's business news and information leader. Hello, a very good day to you and thanks for joining us. My name is Kenneth Odushola Stevenson and this is Inside Business Africa, Africa's business news and information leader. Last week, we took you through so many of the processes that Agritech is putting together to ensure quality poultry business is done in Nigeria, the most scientific and most important poultry business in Nigeria today is being put together by Agritech at Fiditi in all your state. And we took you through some of the processes. Today we'll continue and uh, plus other interesting issues on business, finance and the economy. We'll talk about all that when we come back right after this commercial break. Our legacy is in transforming the poultry industry from a traditional into modern and uh, highly efficient uh, sector. Uh, Nigeria for, for decades or for generations was an agricultural country, leading agricultural country in, 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 in Africa. Yes. But you know, the, 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 the entire world and with technologies made a big advance and somehow Nigeria, because of government policies, because of priorities, stayed behind. You have to make sure that you maintain a very high level of biosecurity, very high quality of feed, very good, uh, very enabling environment for, for livestock to, to perform. Welcome back. You're still inside Business Africa, Africa's business news and information leader. Thanks for staying with us. Agritech, a leading player in the Nigeria's environment to be corporate sector to be precise, and livestock business, poultry. And this particular organization is putting together a very massive investment at Fiditi in Oyo State. You saw some of the things last week that was shown as to how the processes are gone, the quality control, and many other things. And also, we, sh we, we showed you some clips and also interview with the managing director as to how we are going with this particular project that is expected to be completed in the two weeks thereabout. But what is important is that we believe that there are some of the processes that you needed to see and understand the process that is being taken to ensure safety the environmental issues and the quality of the of the products are maintained take a listen to this important tour and see the process that the general manager is going to take us through and then we'll come back and speak with the managing director again mr chimzak you see you see the fence there is the end of phase one behind is still bush Okay. And we are going, okay. our land is going up to this area, phase two and three. So when we complete phase one, we move to phase two. When we complete phase two, we move to phase three. And this will be completed in full operation by end of 2023 24. Yeah. Yes. So in the process of the land acquisition, we, 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 no, we already purchased the land. We purchased already the land. The land we purchased in uh, uh, 2017, end of 2017. And we started to do some work, serious work last year, and that's the situation now. And we will complete it only in 2022.
totally environmental control. Outside can be 50 degrees, inside you will have 26 degrees. So the chickens are getting the best uh, place to give the best results. So, and this, this, you know, this calculation is done through the computer for you to know the temperature level, the, the water level and all of that. We, 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 we program. Okay. You know, the, 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 the name of the game is to get from here a uniform flock. If we get all of them same, same desired weight, body weight, for male and for we, female, they will produce fantastically. So, the, the, and we have to bring them here into sexual maturity to start meeting between male and female in the, in the production uh, houses. So, we, this is a crucial period of the, of, the, of the entire process. Crucial period. Growing and bring them into... The only way is by playing between light and darkness. So here, this is when the, the, the curtains along drops, it becomes dark. So we can give them the necessary hours of the, of the, of the day with light or darkness. That's the only way that we can manipulate. Because they can't tell you well, yeah, they are starving, they are hungry, they are thirsty. So the, the yellow line is feeding, the red line is drinking. We have to make sure that they are all equal. This is a socialist operation. We need everybody like communism, yeah. like we everybody to be equal. We don't want the strong, the strong one to get stronger and the weak one either to die or get weaker. So that's our profession, to keep them all equal. And the whole system, the whole technology designed to support our desire to keep them equal and to bring them all together to the production line as equal and th that's the, the this that's secure optimum production so how do you now measure if there is a variation they're checking them once a week in the beginning okay scaling them one by one okay in order to know the variation and we have to keep the graph as the distance between each other, yeah. the lowest is possible. Sometimes you have to separate weak one and push them yeah. in the one side yes. and to maybe to save some food feed from the strong one to, keep, to, to, so to just balance to balance them. them. Yes. This is it's, it's a science. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a big science because at the end of the day, it is possible, you know, we are in when some is weak, if they are together, the stronger thing are going to be. Of course. So, <laughs> so you have to ensure that you know they can all compete on the same level. Yeah. And they compete, you know, that is, and the, if there is anyone that is having issues, how do you detect that? How do you know? We, we first of all, the, the, the breeding people, they are experts. When they get into the, to the house in the morning, they look around, they see okay. there is a problem. Okay. And every week we weigh them and we take the weak ones or the, or the light weight yes. ones yes. and boost them and we some do some restraints from the strong ones, some, some limit them in order to equal, to, to equal, equal all of them, yes. to bring them all together yes. as one unit. GG9, this is the identity of the house. Here next to the, the water, as, as uh, Moti said, the water is, they, they need to drink water at the, the ratio of three times more than the feet. So we need a lot of water, so this, there is a reservoir of water from there. We have our boreholes here. We also, also, it's not only water, it, bad water can, can affect their growing and can affect their future production. And the water is also feeding this system, this cooling system. You like see, this is like oh, a desert okay. cooler. Okay. Okay. So yes. the water drops here, and the fans on the other side. At 4:30 in the morning, the computer is telling open water. They have to go to check that the water is going. So first.
first we opened the water. Then, half an hour later, we opened the light and the feed. So the birds are ready. are ready. The males, they are ready for eating, but they are only also wants to mate. <laughs> then, laying started. And they have different uh, feeding system, because the male can still feed from the female. They can't get, they are too wide, they can't get their head into the female. Oh, okay. It's a different place. Okay. Okay. Now, the cool air comes from there, and this are, like, these are fans that are sucking oh, the air okay. Okay. and bring coolness to the entire building. So you see how many of them? And each group It's all calculated to, to the air speed, the cool, the, the, the temperature, the humidity, everything is calculated here. Mm. As we say, five star hotel. Yeah. You see, the people are cleaning now the remaining of the old flock that went from the two houses. Okay. Because initially we operate only two houses, and now the next flock will be four houses. Okay. And you see here, you see the, the fence of the, the second house. And this area, when we clean, you see, they, they, they are cleaning now. This is uh, before they come and put the, 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 the yeah. this is this is a male house. It's not you don't need it totally uh, environmental control. Male are tougher. There you have it. You saw it right there, you know, being talked about. The quality control. Even the water will be measured. Even the air. Even the, the kind of temperature. You know, the lighting system. You, it, it has to be precise. It's precision. And what is important about it is because this company understands that the investment in livestock is life-saving. Apart from the fact that you eat this particular, you know, things and we get it in our homes, it is important the process is taken to ensure that nothing happens, especially with all the diseases that is going on around the country. But I can tell you that AgriTed is taking every measure to ensure the livestock, the safety and the precision in what is being done. Let's go now to speak with the managing director again, Mr. Chimzak, uh, uh, to take us further into what is actually happening at that particular site. Yes, we are currently at Fiditi in Oyo State, the site where Agritech is currently operating and Fimbi, Nigeria with the best quality of poultry products. And to be honest, I have gone through the entire process of what's going on here and I'm quite impressed. And it, it takes a very visionary personality and investor and an entrepreneur to put this kind of investment together. And this is multi-billion dollars investment right here in Nigeria, in Fiditi, in Oyo State. And I'm going to take us, to, to take us through the entire process of what has happened and what we have seen and so what is also to come from this investment is the Managing Director of Agritech, Mr. Chimzak. Thanks for joining us and I must congratulate you again for what I have seen. Uh, they say seen is believing, but I've seen it. Thank and you, I man. can also tell Nigerians that I've seen this investment is multi-billion dollars and it's going on right here in your state, in Fibiti village and to feed Nigeria. Uh, can you tell us really uh, what is here and what is to come? Here, this is the most sophisticated part of the industry whereby you produce the chicks that go to thousands of, uh, of commercial farms to grow them into processing size or to laying eggs. So here, we, the, the whole procedure starts here. We hatch our parents in uh, the big hatchery that you just uh, visited. We take them into a poultry pullet growing farm and where they grow for 22 to 23 weeks. And from this farm, they are moving to production farm where they will produce about 40 weeks of uh, 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 hatching eggs that will go back to the hatchery hatch there for 21 days 
and hatch them and produce chicks. The chicks will go into a chick distribution point in the farm and from there to thousands of farmers all over the country. Now, uh, well, this, this process, as it's been explained, it's already in operation and producing. It's not as if it's new. You're already in operation in some of these projects. Yeah, of course. We, this is our, um, our fourth farm. The three, the three previous farms are producing now about 20 million chicks every year. And this farm will add about another 40 million uh, for every year. So we are quite uh, familiar with the, the, the needs for the, of the Nigerian market. And we look with visionary look at the, needed, the needs for the next generation. So this farm will support uh, 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 poultry production in the next generation. Now, in terms of the, the other farms that are already producing, are they in the same site or what are, where are they located? No, they are, they are, two of them are located in Oil State, the other side of Ibadan. One of them is located in Ogun State, in uh, Ajebo Village, yeah. near Ajebo Village. And this one in Fiditi is practically twice the size of the three of, the, the three of them. Okay. Now, in terms of coming in here to put this investment here, what motivated? Well, we we have uh, Agritad is in the last thirty years is playing in the in the poultry industry both in social uh, 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 aspects and commercial aspects. Uh, we look at a providing sufficient uh, basic materials for food production and B, trying to advance the, the, the poultry industry from traditional into modern and very sophisticated um, uh, scheme. So this farm is the latest in uh, poultry uh, breeding production technologies. Uh, what you've seen today is the latest technologies available worldwide. And Agritad is naturally uh, 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 classified as top 10 in the world in our uh, uh, production uh, performance. Now, now uh, again, uh, this is about twice the size of all the others. And uh, obviously, what we have seen is just a piece of the ad bag. Where are we going? We are going, look, the consumption of uh, fresh uh, poultry meat in Nigeria is far behind the average in Africa. The, the, the consumption in, 19, in 2019 was about 1.6 kilograms per capita, mm. when in the African continent, the average consumption is 9.5. So Nigeria is far behind, but we think that with the urbanization process, and with the, in, the, 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 the improvement of buying power of, the, of the, the people, I think that many will, and young generation, will move from vegetarian protein-based food into animal uh, protein-based. And chicken is, is leading the entire animal protein-based worldwide. So it, that will be the, the trend in Nigeria. And we are meeting only the, the, the necessities for the next future in Nigeria. It takes a long process to get even an egg in a home. But you have put in this type of process from beginning to the end. Can you just say just a bit, you know, maybe about two minutes, no. if this process and taking into consideration quality and the hygienic way of the kind of food that we consume because overall at the end of the day is what we are going to consume so just just what have you put in place to ensure that you know we say top notch there are three basic measures that we have to put in place and we know without any com compromising one is veterinary protection because live livestock the protection veterinary protection of livestock can could be either a big success or a big disaster. So veterinary, we have to keep our flocks healthy and in good shape 
for production. This is number one. Number two is we have to keep proper uh, nutritional values to feed our, our birds in order to give, the, to give them sufficient uh, 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 basis for production as far as feed. And the third one is general management. Management, professional management will determine all the other aspects, veterinary, nutritional, um, uh, movement, uh, supply, uh, 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 testing laboratories, quality of water, quality of feed, uh, uh, cleanliness of, of the people that are dealing with the, with, the, with, the, with the livestock. All this will be determined by management. Well, in two weeks thereabout, we'll be able to show you a full-fledged operation that is going on here. We may not be able to go in to see what is happening because the, at that time, everything would have been locked down. And we could only show you some things from drone and also the environment, how it will be clean. And the, the, the general manager and the managing director hopefully will be able to explain what took place and where we are now as to how do we move. So that will come out in, the, in about two weeks thereabout. But I can assure you that we'll show you that on Inside Business Africa. When we come back right after this commercial break, we're going to be talking about solar energy and the power sector with Chief Ajedi. Welcome back. You're still inside Business Africa, Africa's business news and information leader. Thanks for staying with us. Chief Vincent Ajede is probably one of the oldest practitioners and investors in the solar business, renewable energy business in Nigeria. Over the years, we've also had some interviews with him in the past on Inside Business Africa when that particular set score was just coming up. Today, he's still the leading player in this industry. And also, we're going to have him uh, to, to answer some of the questions about the challenges of the power sector in Nigeria. And also to talk about the solar energy industry. How are we supposed to maintain it and how fast are we growing? Let me use this opportunity to welcome Chief Ajede to Inside Business Africa. Chief Ajede, thanks for joining us. You are welcome. Let me start from the beginning. We do understand that there is a challenge in the power sector in Nigeria and uh, several solutions have been profiled from different angles. So many things have been said. Now, let's focus on your own area, the challenges facing the energy sector vis-a-vis -vis the renewable energy sector in Nigeria. What are the solutions that could be provided? Could you take us through that and also talk precisely about the solar energy sector? Funds. Okay. Funds. Let us give me funds. I'll monitor the funds for me. I've told you just now that back of industry said my company is not large enough to when i cannot even go to my office chief in this day of tariff increase increment and so many things that is coming out of the discourse and the genkos and also the federal government no let's not talk about the cost benefit of using solar energy really to do whatever we want to do in terms of our homes or offices or what have you can, can we look at the, the the cost benefit of using solar really Initial investment is high. The operating cost over the system's lifetime is low. Because for 25 years you are using it. If you use the battery well, battery can take it can last uh, four or five years. There are batteries now. The the what I'm using for my street lights. They they are they are nickel seed batteries. They are very good. 200 ounce 220 ounce 12 volt is sold for three thousand dollars those batteries can last you for 50 to 18 years 
that's about all we have time for on Inside Business Africa for today. But before I go, I'd like to just inform you that AgriCorp Nigeria 2020 will be holding on the 31st and 30th and 31st of March at Sherati Hotels and Towers. Speakers have been lined up. The managing director of Agritech will be speaking. The chairman, chief executive of Sona Group of Industries will also be speaking, plus many other professionals in the industry. The minister is expected to be, uh, to be attending, plus other industry players to talk about corporatization of agriculture how do we do it right what kind of processes are we expected to, to take to ensure that we do agriculture in terms of the way it should be done globally and don't also forget that like i said earlier on we're going to be showing you in about two weeks time all right what agritech has been able to put together at fiditi in all your state that process you saw some of the things that is ongoing at that particular site but i can assure you we're coming back to show you the finished product so that you will be rest assured that this investment will help Nigeria's agri and livestock businesses for years to come. And it is projected that by the year 2050, Nigeria will be having over 400, uh, 400 million population. So, Agritech is preparing for those things, I would like to say. But it's been Kenneth Odisha, last Stevenson presenting Inside Business Africa. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.